Sometimes I lose money. I don't make money. One in the mid-state cashing in on the falling fuel prices. In fact, some retailers say they're actually losing money. Hard to believe, but true. And that is why you will pay more to fill up in places like Gallatin. Fox 17's Megan O'Halloran tonight to show us why. Right now here in Gallatin, the McDonald's across the street, you can see there's a long line there. But at the gas station here, well, it's empty. That's because this area has some of the highest gas prices in town. This gas station in Gallatin is advertising the lowest beer prices in town, but gas prices, that's a different story. Yeah, I know it usually comes up about like 17 to 20 cents more. Yeah, I, I have no idea why though, but that's why I don't get my gas here. At convenience stores in Hermitage in Lebanon, we saw gas as low as $1.99 a gallon. And while drivers are certainly enjoying the discounts there, in Gallatin, it doesn't look like prices have budged, with some stations selling gas as high as 263 a gallon. What happens in situations like this where the price is decreasing, is decreasing very rapidly, a lot of times retailers will be caught with a delivery of fuel that is at a higher price point. Independent gas station owner Yassar Farah says it happens to him all the time. I'll lose $50, $60 a day on selling gas. I'm actually giving it away. Farah says he makes most of his money inside the store on food and drink sales. And on the days when he does make a profit on gas, he says it isn't much at all. When you pay for cash, you may make a penny or two a gallon. But if you're using a credit card, I'm paying you to pump gas out of my, my station, yes. Experts in the fuel industry cannot predict how long we will see low trending gas prices, but when it comes down to pricing, stations are trying to stay competitive with each other, and that may mean they'll take a financial hit or lose out on your business. According to fuel experts, price gouging is not usually applicable unless it comes down to an emergency situation. If you suspect any suspicious activity when it comes to gas prices, you can file a complaint with the state in the Consumer Affairs Division. Reporting in Gallatin, Megan O'Halloran, Fox 17 News. Thank you, Megan. Low gas prices, uh, like the ones we're seeing in uh, most of the mid-state, could be in danger as well. For the first time in 25 years, Tennessee state lawmakers are looking at a gas tax hike. Right now, it's about 40 cents a gallon, the tax you pay, with the money used to pay for roads and transportation improvements. You can find out where the lowest prices are in your area right now online at fox17.com just by clicking the Fox Fuel Gauge.